Hi, welcome to the Oliver Fetter YouTube channel. Today, I am sussing out differences between the 1.9 liter TDI and 1.6 liter injection pump. I'm thinking mounting, I'm thinking belts, I'm thinking how do I make my MTDI 1.6 pump fit on my newly acquired 1.9 liter TDI engine. We're gonna start by looking at key differences between the pumps here, pump sprockets, timing belts, mounting plates, and injector lines. Hopefully, at the end of the day, I'll know just exactly how I'm gonna get a 1.6 pump to fit on my 1.9 TDI. Off we go. Let's look at pump sprockets, because they're the first thing I got here. So we can see right off the bat, these are definitely different in some dimensional ways. You couldn't possibly put the 1.9 liter sprocket, which is this one right here, in place of the 1.6 liter sprocket, which is this one right here. Although, let's note some key similarities, they are, exactly the same size on the outside. Now my 1.6 here is, you know, a decent number of years older and a little bit more worn, but I mean, look at that. They are identical. Interior dimensions, the 1.9 liter actually bolts to the face of the pump. So this sprocket bolts to the face and you adjust static timing by sliding the sprocket relative to the pump. Whereas the 1.6 mounts directly to the pump input shaft and you adjust pump timing by rotating the entire pump back and forth. One other important thing to note that someone informed me is that if this mount, this gear mount on a 1.9 pump is ever removed, there's no woodruff key like this. There's no key that sets this with relation to the rest of the pump. So just don't take that off. My original thought on how this is gonna go is all I would have to do is take this part off of this pump and put it on this pump and use this gear and the 1.9 housing and it would all go on just fine. Completely wrong. You can't use this sprocket at all. One other thing too, before I put these sprockets on to compare depth is you should notice the exterior diameter of the pump mounting feature. TDI, the pump has a, it's like a 68 millimeter mounting circumference. Whereas on the 1.6, we're looking at a 50 millimeter mounting circumference. So for that reason alone, you couldn't possibly put a 1.6 pump in a 1.9 mounting position without some kind of adapter. All right, so now I have the pumps both mounted with their relative sprockets here. And you can see on the front side, they're the exact same diameter. And from a top-down perspective, you can see, this being my really floppy straight edge, that the pumps actually mount in the exact same place as well, relative to their sprockets. So if you could bolt a 1.6 liter pump up to a 1.9 liter mounting plate, it would be in the right place for the belt to go on it. It's important to note that this is not my MTDI pump. This is just a regular old 1.6 naturally aspirated pump that debuted on the channel for a few drag racing sessions. But nonetheless, it fits exactly the same with the exactly the same in possible interferences to look at. So we're gonna set the 1.9 pump aside because I'm not actually trying to use it at this particular moment. And we're gonna jump over to mounting plates and differences and similarities between them. Okay, so this right here is a 1.6 liter pump mounting plate. Uh, this pump, like I said before, adjusts its timing by actually rotating the whole pump assembly. So you can see there's slots at all three mounting positions. And on the back side, there's a nut and two welded nuts so you actually loosen bolts from the pump side of things in order to adjust your timing. Now, this is also an engine mount. This engine mount takes a bolt right here, which is just at the top of the block where the block meets the head. Your pump ends up something like so. This is a pretty rusty old plate that I haven't worked with much, but you can see it would mount up very securely right there and go on the side of your engine just like that. Here we have the 1.9 liter engine accessory mounting bracket. This goes right on the front of the engine. So fuel pump holes up top. Now what's interesting is when you try to put a fuel pump here, observe the circumference differences. See how much smaller this is? It doesn't really fit nicely into this groove. And then secondly, this right here, this timing assembly gets in the way. It actually hits 
right there. You can kind of see the scrape marks. I think I might need to cut out a hole to even further assess how to do this. Now let's jump over here and take a look at the 1.6 mounting blade. I think I might try to reuse this engine mount and fab up my own, no matter what. For starters, this bolt is too small and the hole is too small for the correct size bolt. So for now, We'll just throw that in there like that. But you can see a couple things are wrong with this. For starters, it covers part of the water pump, so that's never going to work. And for seconds, it actually doesn't come out quite as far as the 1.9 does. So here's our timing cover, and I know I can't fully put it over, but you can see approximately how off this is. Like, the inside of the 1.6 hole is on the very inside of this much bigger circumference. Meaning the center line of the pump on the 1.9 liter is actually moved further away from the engine than the 1.6 ever was. I was actually leaning towards this being the proper solution, some kind of modification of this bracket. But now that I'm looking at everything and comparing the pumps very closely in this video, I think using the 1.9 bracket is definitely the way to go. To further show fit, I can get the pump to sit flush, but it even sits flush on this lower mount for the pump. So that's how little these pumps have changed over the year. This face-to-face -face dimension on a 1.6 liter is exactly the same as the face-to-face -face on the 1.9 liter. That's how similar they are, which is pretty dang cool, honestly. I now have the cold start lever removed, which is what was hitting. And let's try this again. That's really quite nice. Not bad at all. Still a little bit of bracket trimming might be helpful for the sake of being able to rotate this nicely. One timing extreme, that would be full retarded. Here's the other timing extreme. That wasn't too bad. Now oriented so that we're looking at it in a more normal fashion attached to the motor. Let's get this going again. The holes will all line up quite nicely. There's still that adjustability. If this pump with this sprocket has the exact same offset as the 1.9, really all that leaves the question is, is it okay to have this circumference be off like that? My gut tells me it might be nice to have a spacer of some sort to put in here, even just a 3D printed one. So when you go to adjust it, it stays rotating about the correct axis, which would probably help with pump just alignment. But the other part of me is like, this is a really big beefy plate. It's gonna have to be through bolted instead of, you know, having a welded nut. If you get three bolts in here, I mean, it's held very firmly against the face. And then of course, there's still the fourth on the backside to keep everything glued together. That's pretty good. So I got most of the stuff mounted up here. Pump for right now is only held in by the back. 1.9 liter bolt. Uh, these are effectively just placeholders to show that it is slotting through correctly. And if you look at the face of it, it's definitely, you know, not, not perfect. It's not quite concentric right now. We'll let it slide until I uh, can get some more proper hardware. So I've never actually done this before. This is, of course, day one for me. I'm screwing around with trying to make these two things work together. Holy shit. I feel like I might have been able to look this up on the internet and gotten some beta from someone, but I feel like with this and like with most things, information you get from people on the web is only so good. I just want to illustrate that these are similar in the fact that, look at that. This is the 1.9 liter timing belt. You can tell it is because it's not new at all that came on this engine. And I'm going to just slot it through here approximately so we can see how this is gonna work. I mean, that looks like it's gonna work. It seems like it's possible that it's a teeny bit off, but I guess based on what we, uh, what we looked up earlier with how the faces of the two pumps were the same, that uh, it's entirely possible that this is perfect. Let's get the crank on here and get the full picture and try rotating it. Well, we're not gonna rotate it because nothing's connected correctly. <laughs> but uh, let's put the crank on here to get the full picture of how this belt might lay on this setup. Quick detour to show you all something absurd. This is a half inch drive, almost thousand foot pound electric impact to a three eighths adapter to a quarter inch adapter to a six millimeter Allen. And it works so good. <laughs> All right, I'm now just gonna take a second to get the belt dead center on each pulley 
And I don't really plan to use this one because it'll get in the way of my 1.6 engine mount in case. So aside from the fact that this isn't super well tensioned because I don't have this spanner and that this pulley is missing, I mean, that looks cash. It looks like it's gonna work. There you go. That's a 1.6 liter pump mounted on a 1.9 liter engine. That's how you do it. This is huge, honestly. I didn't think I was gonna get this far this fast uh, and it looks good. It looks like it's gonna work. I feel like I wanna get a 3D printed spacer going for the pump so that these can actually sit concentrically with one another. But the fact that you can just throw the 1.6 sprocket on here and it all goes gravy is sweet. See, my concern with the pump initially was that, well, I didn't really have many concerns. I just figured you could put a 1.6 on here. So then my secondary like screaming concern became, oh shit, does it not fit on this mount? which I believed for a while that it wouldn't. And then of course, here we are, it fits. And then kind of tertiary concerns that people have always thrown out there is that this actually has a 17 millimeter shaft and the 1.9 has a 19 millimeter shaft. So we're talking two millimeters thicker to drive that extra pressure at the other end. But the pump in my car right now is currently a 1.6 liter pump with the 17 millimeter shaft driving a 11 millimeter TDI head with a high lift TDI rotor. And it's fine. And those are Hans parts. I think I honestly might take the head off this pump, the TDI pump I have, and put it on my 1.6 so I have better quality parts. I mean, this is great. Just this isn't the finished product by any means. Uh, and there's some kinks to work out with mounting here, or I should say quirks to work out with mounting, but this is excellent. And then I can just put the alternator back in here and cut this bracket off and we're good as gravy. That's gonna work. And it's gonna work like pretty dang well. Super exciting. Other part of today's video I wanna look at is how to address engine mounts. So today is all about mounting things. Circle back to this one right here. Uh, and mostly what I want to figure out, so obviously this is, isn't right. You know, the mounting disparity here is quite a bit different than right here. Though that hole right there looks cash. But I want to see what it would take to adapt this bracket, as in cut and weld it, to fit this hole pattern. And where, in this up-down kind of verticality here, it should go. This is upside down obviously, but should it go here? Should it go here? Probably should go like right about here. We're gonna measure my 1.6 block from probably just the base of the block here to here and compare the differences. Cause on the 1.6, this mounts right there. But the 1.9 is a slightly bigger engine. So let's go check out what's different. So on the 1.6, when you measure deck of oil pan to deck of block, you get 11 inches. This thing right here isn't super accurate, but we're doing a course measurement. So you can see a 1.6 would actually end right about at this, this boss here, this crease. So VW pretty much just stuck an extra three quarter inches of metal on top and called it good, uh, <laughs> which is pretty funny. The mounting bolt for the 1.6 is right at nine inches. So what's interesting is this right here, which I think is just a timing cover mounting point, is actually a relic engine mount hole from the 1.6 liter engine block. This used to be a mounting point for the engine bracket. Then you can see with the 1.9, they moved it up about an inch and a half, moved the other one down about an inch and a half, and then you have this new design. This is excellent. This means that to locate this engine properly in my engine bay, all I have to do is line up my current 1.6 mounting hole right here with this feature, because that's perfect. And then all I need to do is weld on some extra metal on both sides and probably over to this guy right here. And I'll have myself a lovely looking engine mount that has a locating feature that dials it in to making the engine sit level in the car. That is way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Let's go. Properly mount this engine bracket on this block, all you gotta do is line this hole up with this hole right here. And then this mount will be in the correct location with respect to the engine to have the engine sit nicely in the car. Two more tidbits of information that make this swap totally sweet. 
We'll start with the easy one. Right here, 1.6 pump. Right here, 1.9 lines. Zero problem with those going on. I mean, they quite literally screw on exactly the same. And then if we compare the two pumps, and you look at them just like so, you can see, and maybe you can't see on the camera, but the 1.9 protrudes ever so slightly more. So to the face of the pump, the 1.9 has a 28 millimeter valve on it. And take the same measurement on the 1.6, has a 25 millimeter check valve housing. 25 mils versus 28, I said, that's nothing. That's fine, the injector lines would stretch for that. That said, the other huge thing, tangent, I finally got a set of triangular socket adapters, specifically for Bosch VE pumps. So I can take the end cap off this pump with zero problem with my impact. Lo and behold, this pump here has a 11 millimeter head, which is freaking sweet. This is an 11 millimeter pump. It looks super duper clean in there, which means instead of my Hans auto part pump head garbage, that's on the rabbit right now. And actually it's working pretty well. I'm just gonna go ahead and switch to this, the actual Bosch 11 millimeter pump head, which I know won't fail me, instead of the Hans, which I've been currently running. So two more tidbits to add to the adaptation. Number one, 1 1.9 liter injection lines fit on a 1.6 pump, even if you don't change the head. And then if you do wanna change the head, at least in my particular case right here, I have an 11 millimeter, which is freaking sweet. And I'm gonna go ahead and run that in this pump head on my orange 1.6 pump in the new build. So we got a pump mounted, we got an engine mount at least logistically sorted out, which leaves all I really need to do is get the rods and injectors when I have the cash, work on my engine mount and my fuel pump mount in the meantime, and by the time I have the cash to get those other things, then likely the turbo build will probably be on its way with the 1.6. So finally, when the 1.6 turbo build comes to a close, then I jump everything over to the 1.9, which has already been sorted out, and it just goes in the car. That's gonna be so sick. At any rate, thank you for coming along with me on this investigative adventure of how to mount a 1.6 pump onto a 1.9. I'm sure there'll be follow-up videos about what my actual pump mounting solution is here and what my actual engine mount solution is here, but you heard the basics of it at least. You got it, you watched it, you saw it. Thank you, I appreciate you. Hope you have a good day out there.